I'm Ashwara Bhagani Shankar and I'm a student here. My design project is on register component scheduling with a force to the good approach. So we have a system with a hard limit on a number of registers. Uh, this algorithm we try to come up with a valid schedule that conforms to that hard limit. Uh, so the way it works is you relax the latency and try to meet that schedule. It takes a force directed approach where um, you try to estimate a force for each operation which tells you how much it affects the concurrency of the system and you try to put it in a step where it consumes the least force. Uh, so um, that's, that's how it works. So these are some of the heuristics that are implemented. Hi, our project is about uh, having quadcopter drones to, and using computer vision techniques to make them completely autonomous. So we have drones which have a camera mounted on them and we're using the video feed to control those drones, like for example tracking other drones, um, obstacle, avoiding obstacles and the drone's path. We can also construct 3D models from the drone and um, the idea is that let's say uh, you're going back home and you would like some sort of an escort because uh, you, it's, a safe, it's not a, um, a safe neighborhood. So the drone can actually track you around, it can avoid obstacles in your way, and uh, it can make sure that you uh, reach home safely. Also, let's say there is an area which, uh, you know, a hazardous area, like maybe uh, a radioactive area where it's not safe for humans to go. So the drone can actually go uh, to that area and construct the entire 3D model and um, give you what the uh, give you an idea of what the entire area looks like. Um, the different things that we worked on are basically putting the AR drone on Red Rover so we can control it from different buildings even in Cornell campus. Um, we can also uh, have, we also have drone detection, um, so we use the harm feature cascade classifier in order to be able to detect another drone with one drone. And from that, we can also track another drone using a compressive tracking method. Um, one of the, one of, another important uh, thing that we need to implement was obstacle avoidance using monocular vision. And monocular vision is just having a single camera, no other sensors, and being able to detect these obstacles um, from these images that you get from a single camera. And the last thing we did was 3D mod modeling using structure from motion. Um, and so basically the stages are you acquire the images, you fly the drone around. So you need multiple viewpoints in order to be able to uh, create a dense model of a specific room. This is a hard valve biometer. It's actually like a hard valve simulator. Uh, you put hard valve here and you use microphone for the whole system. Like a, like a real uh, cardiac cycle. And, uh, we use uh, MATLAB to collect data from the microcontroller and we the data from the microcontroller. Uh, yeah, we, we actually want to use this 3D printed valve to replace the defense valve and we compare this uh, forcing heart valve with the 3D printed valve to see if it match or not. If it match, uh, we can tell this, this uh, valve is actually working. Okay.